Brothers, this video is about delayed gratification. As long as you stay consistent on a long enough time frame, it's unreasonable for you not to win. It's literally that simple. For my guys that are watching this that might be working as an appoint as appointment setters right now, let's say you're struggling to land the perfect five-star client that you've been looking for. Consistency, brother. As long as you do your daily inputs every single day, you do your outreaches, you optimize your personal brand, and you focus on building your network on a long enough time frame, if you do this every single day, it's unreasonable for you not to win as an appointment set. Unreasonable not to. For those guys that are trying to build a personal brand right now, if you stay consistent and po keep posting every single day, trying to improve your quality of your content, etc., on a long enough time frame, it's unreasonable for you not to win. I'm posting right now on YouTube. I've been posting every single day. Uh, my YouTube's not popped off yet by any means, but I know on a long enough time frame, it's unreasonable for me not to win because consistency is literally the key. Consistency is what most people are not willing to do, and that is why it makes it unreasonable for you to be successful. If everyone was consistent, then maybe not. But the fact that everyone is definitely not consistent is your competitive advantage. The fact that everyone is not consistent gives you an advantage that if you are consistent, you will win. Simple as. Uh, and what inspired me to make this video today is the fact that uh, I was just analyzing the fact that I've posted almost every day on TikTok for over a year and I had 1,000 followers. For posting every single day for like a year, 1,000 followers is not a lot of followers, right? On TikTok. I was posting every day for pretty much a year and after one year of posting every single day on TikTok and only having 1,000 followers, eventually one video popped off. One video went viral. One video went viral and it's currently sitting on 1.7 million views and now I'm on like 12K, 13K followers from one video. I posted every single day. Most people would have posted every single day and then stopped posting. I posted every single day, and then eventually, because I was just posting every single day, eventually one video has got to do well, right? If you're posting every single day and you're trying to improve the quality of your content and you're learning what works, if you stay consistent, eventually something's going to click. Eventually something's going to happen. No matter what that is, whether that's uh, whether you're you know trying to find your future wife, whether you're trying to build a business, whether you're trying to put, start a personal brand, whatever it is, if you stay consistent, you will win. But obviously, the hard part is how to actually stay consistent. That's the hard part. Now, let's break down how I managed to stay consistent because I'm autistic, kind of. I'm kind of autistic of how I do things. And this is how I do things. So first of all, first things first, you need to understand, number one, why are you doing the thing to start out with? What are you looking to gain by doing the thing? Is it that you're trying to get a certain desired outcome? Is it that you enjoy the thing that you're doing? Or like, wh why do you want to do, th identify your why power. What's the reason for you doing this? What are you looking to gain out of this? Make that very clear, because that's gonna be your motivation moving forward. What's gonna happen is, on the days, the hard days, where it's like, there's going to be good days, there's going to be bad days. On a bad day, after you've stayed consistent at something for a very long period of time, and you've not yet got the results, the pain that you're feeling must be, uh, well, no, actually, let me wear this. The, the reason why you're doing this needs to be more powerful than the pain that you're currently feeling in the moment from the bad day, plus having no results from the effort that you've spent trying to get to this point. The why needs to be stronger. So what's the reason why you're doing this? Ideally, you want to really dig deep into yourself and find something that is a little bit more than just, you know, a little bit, a little bit more than just, okay, money or building an audience. Like, you, ideally, you want to tie this into purpose, some deep underlying purpose that you might have. Those are always going to be the strongest whys, the strongest reasons to do this. Let's say it, if it is to hit a goal of like, okay, I want to make 10K a month. Or I want to, I want to make ten k a month so that I can provide for my family, retire my future wife, retire my mother, have enough money to feed my future seven children, whatever it is. But like, try to um, make it a reason that's a little bit more than just like uh, you know superficial things. First of all, we need our why. Get very clear about what your why is, and then next. You need to make a promise to yourself. Now, this is only going to work if you're the type of person like me where you understand that lying to yourself as a man is the biggest L that you can take in life. There's no bigger L, in my opinion, than letting yourself down, than lying to yourself. You need to be the type of man that will always keep his word, especially to yourself, because you respect yourself and you love yourself. 
if you do not respect yourself, then you're probably going to be the type of person that struggles to stay consistent. But me personally, if I make a promise to myself that I'm going to do something, no matter what, I fulfill that promise. No matter what. It doesn't matter what it takes. If I've got to go to... If, if, I've, if I've got to travel to, t through time and defeat Fenrir and Ragnarok, then I'll, I'll do it. If I've got to pre keep that promise to myself. Basically, you just need to become the type of man that always sticks to your own word. And what I like to do is I like to make a promise to myself. Okay, yeah, for the next X amount of days, I'm going to do this every single day. And then how I will make sure that I do that every single day, whiteboard. I have a whiteboard there where I write my daily objectives before I go to sleep. Before I go to sleep, I will write my daily objectives for the next day. And no matter what, when I wake up in the morning, I have got the whole day to complete these daily objectives. And the day doesn't end until the objectives are done. I'm not allowed to go to bed until they're done. And what that means is every single day, I get exactly everything that I need to get done every single day. No matter what, it's done. Without exception. I always get my daily objectives done because I made a promise to myself that I am not allowed to go to sleep until the daily objectives are done. You're always going to feel mo more motivated to do something ahead of time rather than in the moment. Today, yeah, last night, I felt really motivated. Oh, tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to have such a productive morning. I'm going to record four YouTube videos and I'm going to get all this work done. Today I woke up and was like, I don't really want to record four YouTube videos. But here I am. Because it's on the board and I'm not allowed to go to bed until those are completed. So I either do, I either do it now or I do it at 2 o'clock in the morning when I want to go to bed. So I'm doing it now. That's another thing that I make sure to do to stay consistent. And then third thing is make sure you have people around you to keep you accountable also. This is also important. If you are in a circle full of G's who will call you out on your BS and they will make sure that you do the work. They check in on you. Like, how are you getting on, bro? Did you do your thing yesterday? Blah, blah, blah. Having people around you to keep you accountable as well, especially if you're someone that struggles to keep yourself accountable, I think is also very important. Join a community of like-minded brothers. Build your own community. Find some friends that you, that you resonate with and that are on the same brainwave of, as, as you. And get them to help you with your accountability as well. That's another really important thing. Um, the good thing about things like posting on social media and stuff like that is that you guys will know if I don't post. You know what I mean? You guys will know. Um, stuff like this. Or you guys will know if I disappear from YouTube for two weeks. Like, you might not notice if I disappear for one day, but you'll definitely notice if I disappear for two weeks. So, um, stuff like that. You can even, like, post on Instagram. I'm going to be doing a 30-day challenge where I run every single day, and I'm going to post the screenshot of my run every single day on Instagram. Perfect. Now you're in the public eye. Now people will keep you accountable. Get other people to keep you accountable. And also, maybe you can give yourself a forfeit if you fail. You give away a large amount of money to charity if you miss a day. Let's say you make about a £1,000 a month right now. Make it like a really painful amount of money. You give £100 away to charity if you forget to go on a run one day. Or you bitch out of it. Make a very painful consequence of you not doing the thing. But daily consistency is literally the most important thing and the number one determining factor of whether you are going to win in life or fail in life. Can you stay consistent on a long time frame without having the instant gratification? Can you wait for the second marshmallow? Simple, brother. Simple. Stay consistent, bro, and you will win. Um, God is with you. God is in your corner. He's fighting for you. God is watching. Just make sure to make God proud. You can tap into the strength of God at any time, you just gotta open the door. That's it. So yeah, hope this helped boys. Subscribe for more content like this. And as always, keep grinding.